Hello, oh, good afternoon, and welcome to the next part of the Bavarian Detectorist. And today, once again, on another <laughs> new permissions. I have quite a few permissions I haven't been on, so don't worry about it. You might get some more later on. Um, the same thing like we had yesterday evening. Once a year this gets cut, sometimes twice, depends, uh, but it's also in the nature program. You can see in the middle the left uh, piece in because it's swampy in there and it goes all the way along here, excuse the wind. In the background you see the beer mühle, it's an old, very old mill and I've been detecting already at the top there uh, about I think two years ago, maybe three, not quite sure, but I got some nice silver coins at the back there. And we're in the same valley as yesterday, but about two and a half kilometers down uh, to the south. So we got the uh, lava still here. So we're following this river down. So you can see it right there. So we're actually following this river going down. This time I'm on the other side of the river where the road used to be running along the top going to the mill this used to be mill grounds and so on so let's see what we can find and I can show you on the map <coughs> quickly so I'm actually you can see that's the little island right there that's right in front of us that one right there it's actually this little piece right there and I'm standing right there so actually I am roughly about, let's say we've got the mill coming in like that, then it goes up like that. So I'm about here roughly on the old map. And you can see it was all uh, always pasture. At the top, this one I did was very good, nice finds, some uh, crotobel coins, silver coins and stuff like that. And the road actually goes along here. So I'm just below the road and towards the water. What is always good, you know, when the we're traveling along with the horses and stuff like that, they needed water, you could get to the river at the time. So, possibility of finding something is good. Are we going to find anything? Knowing my luck, most likely not, but we never know, so let's go detecting, right? Be on the first find as always. <laughs> So I just started walking, the car's right still there, and we got our first signal. Very strong, 81, 80. So, let's see. To me it sounds like some kind of modern uh, alloy maybe, but then again, you never know. I was right, it's a 10. Like I said, you know, yesterday going into the 98 that, um, uh, 97, 98 that uh, beer to bottle top was actually very unusual, but it was iron, or it had a lot of iron, it was rusty, not like this alloy here, so maybe that was the reason. Okay, hopefully, after the next. So, in the background we have uh, Zimbach, the village of Zimbach, and what's very interesting, it's already a very very old uh, village, it goes back prior to 1500, and the church itself is actually a heritage site underneath it for buildings prior from the Middle Ages and earlier, and in the mountain is a heritage site. And what they've actually did in the uh, early Middle Ages, they made like uh, earth works into the mountain to hide themselves. Like uh, we call it Erdloch. And it's actually handmade, they've carved into very small, and it goes all different down into the mountain itself. So, very historical, very old area this. But so far I haven't found anything, <laughs> but there again, the road is at the top there. The hillside at the top was very good, and then the back, 
at the top we have a Tannhausen and so on that used to be the hunter's lodge from the king and so on so I'm still hopeful but once again it's very very dry it's, it's very dry down here it's amazing yeah normally where it's not this dry there's always a little bit of humidity but it goes all the way down it's sandy ground and you can see it I mean all this area I mean you could you know, this is a real just all nearly all sand so very hard to dig and nice butterfly before let's take a look if you put the fly away it's a tiger eye and there he goes what a shame okay let's carry on digging and there we have a snuff tin tobacco uh, Menthol tobacco, exclusive mild snuff English type. And they've got the guardsmen on there, didn't, don't they? <laughs> so there you go. Lanzu, Germany. Well, and uh, just to correct myself, it wasn't a tiger eye, of course, it was a peacock eye. And uh, we call him Faunauge, the butterfly, of course. I guess I had to correct myself. <laughs> okay, and there's a church in the background. So, there you go. Baroque. Very nice. Let's carry on. Trust me to find a little lead bullet or the piece of it. <laughs> Big hole, small little lead bullet. Very, very nice signal. So you gotta dig it, don't you? And it's lead, and lead is always good. So let's carry on after the next. And some kind of iron latch for something or other. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's carry on after the next. And a blank uh, training route. Okay, after the next. And of course. Oh, I ring. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. And the first pewter button. Yeah, looks like pewter. And it's a replica of a 10 or 30 kreuzer. You can see the number right in the bottom. Um, but like I said, it's a replica. Looks like it's 30. But it's complete, so there you go. Nice. Wouldn't mind finding this one in real silver <laughs> instead of a replica. But at least one good find so far. Let's carry on after the next. And a couple of fragments of a shield button. Most likely I hit it, I don't know. The break stones, yeah, that one looks new, so I might have fitted that one's old. But never mind, it's only a fragment anyway, so let's carry on. So that was it from this detecting tour. Not a lot. Got some iron, some modern trash, uh, old replica pewter or lead, uh, more pewter um, button, a modern blank cartridge, a little piece of lead, a little bit of fragments of the shield buttons, so, and that one little piece of lead that was a bullet, so there you go, so now <laughs> I'm allowed to pick up my son and drive him to the garage so we can pick up his bike that was in for service and repair. And then that was it for today. A little bit disappointed to be honest. I thought there was going to be a little bit more, a few more um, older finds, maybe a coin or something like that down here. But it is very, very dry and very 
a quiet ground now, even though there were a little bit of modern finds. But I, I've been down here now about an hour and three quarters, and very clean, I suppose, uh, site. So what I could imagine is, as the road is a little bit up on the hill, that they might have taken the topsoil that was down here and made the dam before they put the uh, mineral down to fill it up a little bit and they took the topsoil off here but that's just guessing I suppose um, I'm not sure I'm going to do this permission of only if um, there's nothing else to do part from this one then I come back but otherwise it's I think it's going to be a waste of time to be truly honest but we will see till we see us tomorrow I know I'm going to go out detecting tomorrow because I'm going to have a guest I haven't met before tomorrow morning so it's going to be a morning hunt and then we'll see how it goes on only a couple of hours, I only have a couple of hours time tomorrow morning, so it's going to be just a little uh, tour on a, a field that has already been harvested and turned over, so hopefully we'll have more luck tomorrow anyway. But we will see, and you will see tomorrow then. Until then, you take good care of yourself, and don't forget, keep smiling, enjoy life. And we see each other again. Until then, bye-bye.